Welcome to Learning with the Girlfriends Basics for Beginners. Now today we're gonna learn how to wind the bobbin on your sewing machine. And I'm gonna be demonstrating on the Janome 2030DC. Winding the bobbin on your machine is gonna look a little different, right? But overall the process is the same on any sewing machine. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is put our spool onto the spool pin. And this time we are going to go through this tension disc right here. Now, if you take a look on my machine, I actually have some instructions right here that show me exactly how to do this. And a lot of machines will have that. If not, just go ahead and refer to the owner's manual. So we'll take that thread and I'm going to bring it over from the left and very carefully have that click right in there and turn it around to go towards the right. So now I'm gonna take this and place my thread into the hole, but I'm coming from the inside to the outside of the bobbin. And once that thread has passed through, I'll go ahead and place it up towards the top and place that onto that bobbin pin. I'm also going to hold this thread in place just for the first few seconds while it winds. Then in order to engage the motor here, I will simply push this over to the right. And then with my foot pedal, this is where I will press down in order for this motor to start to wind the thread. I'm just taking it carefully through there. You can see that. Now that it's wound a few rounds, I'll go ahead and let go of it and I can wind the rest as simple as can be. Okay, the machine's automatically stopped, so I'll go ahead and now disengage that motor simply by taking it back to the left, pulling it up and off of that pin, and with my scissors, just trim it up, and now I'm ready to go ahead and place it into my machine. Thanks for learning with the girlfriends, and happy sewing. Follow our channel for even more helpful tutorials and tips for beginning sewers.